Hi friends, Amanda Markham here again, and today I have an extra special guest, Susan Hatfield, one of my amazing friends, and probably the smartest woman I know, especially when it comes to money and finances. She's with Benchmark Mortgage here in Richmond, and we're gonna talk about the cost of waiting a buy, because we get asked all the time, is it a good time to buy? And this yeah. kind of, you know, it, it depends, is her her go-to answer. Yeah. I'm always like, yeah, but. Yes, Amanda always says yes. I say it depends. You yeah. need to look at your credit, your assets, need to see how long you're going to be in the property. Yeah. It really depends on your unique situation. Absolutely. So we're going to give you some numbers though, based on some actual historical facts yeah. and just, it's just, it's interesting. It's yeah. interesting. I'll let you go. So, now. Absolutely. So, you know, I'm a nerd. Yeah. I love numbers. I love statistics. So, um, average sales price, Amanda and I um, looked this up and in 2019, the average sales price here in Kentucky, here in Madison County, Kentucky actually was $201,000. Average interest rate then was at 3.875. So if you purchased a home and we're right just before going, COVID. Yeah, before COVID, putting 20% down, your principal and interest payment only would only have been um, $757 a month. That's crazy. Yeah, does not count taxes and insurance. Yeah. Fast forward 2023, average sales price went up to yeah. 274. Yeah. 74. Yeah. Yeah, thousand yeah, dollars. Um, average interest rate was at 7.25 for 2023. Payment, same thing, putting 20% down. Principal and interest only would have gone to $1,498. Almost double. Almost double, yeah. The crazy thing is, though, if you look at those values, though, for four years, that's a 36% increase in, in, value. Your, in, your, in equity. your value. In your yes. equity, yeah. yeah. That's your money. That's so, crazy. That's, that's, I mean, who, what job can you do where you just do nothing for four years and you make $75,000? Correct. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. So <laughs> the great thing is for people, I know interest rates are not where we want them to be. No one wants to pay a 7% interest rate. But we're all doing it. We are all doing Even it. Even if you're renting, you're yes. doing it for your landlord. So he thanks you. Absolutely. And so I do feel like interest rates will level out. Do I think we're going to see a... To 2.625 interest rate like we did in 2021? Maybe not, but I think we'll get back in those fours and definitely fives mm -hmm. sooner than later. Yeah. So fast forward though, let's talk about 2027. Yeah. If you do the math and you look at this historically, I've gone back all the way to 1975 and done the math on this. Um, historically, our values here in Madison County, that $275,000 property that we just talked about in four years will probably be worth $372,000. That's, That's going to be our average sales price for here in Madison County. That's a lot to, to swallow because when I got into the business, our average cutest little three, two, two car was, I mean, I sold them all day in Richwood yes. and they were 139. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if it was a foreclosure, you could maybe get it for like 125 maybe. Yeah. I mean, we're selling one for like 105, yes. but yeah, that's yeah. wow. So I can't imagine that house being, being worth that, but yes. you know, it's, it, it's the, historical, it's that, it's not our opinion. Yeah, it's, the, yeah the numbers don't lie. Doing the yeah. math is always the smartest thing to do whenever yeah. you're looking at buying real estate. You have to not only look at the math just for your personal, like today, your short term, but also long term. You know, what are you really investing in? Yeah, absolutely. And and I know you can't predict the future, but you know, you, you make plans with, you know, your people when you sit down, you, you ask them these deep absolutely. questions that they probably not even asked themselves or yeah. thought about to figure out, you know, is it a good time to buy or not? Yeah, definitely have to look at the math. Yes, for sure. Well, we will see you all next time.